Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! <clears throat> Just that. Assholeconsulting.com. Shafat. Uh, Shafat? Shafat? I think that's. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Hi, asshole. Love your videos on real fucking world. Laughing all pwoned. I never knew how to pronounce that. Pwoned? SMH. God damn it. I don't know what that means. I'm not going to look it up. I want a video response. Are you take on the Tobacco 21 law? I know places like in parts. Like Minnesota, New York, and a few other localities have hiked up the age of purchases tobacco products by 21. I think it's bullshit unless they raise the military age to 21 years old and to get rid of the 26th Amendment that caps the voting age to 18 as the young generation of liberals who are too freaking dumb to think for the dude. You should do what the Jews did in the olden days. To become a true man of the tribe, you had to be 30. Uh, you had to be mensch. And uh, I would like to be a 30. And then the second you collect a government check in Social Security and you don't get to vote. You do not get to vote unless you pay taxes. Um, I think it's bullshit. Outside the school system. I want to know your opinion. How much for video response? Well, it was <clears throat> very simple. I agree with you 100%. If you could be drafted, you should have the right of all adults. Driver's licenses, you rated X movie, you smoke, drink, uh, whatever else. Uh, also, from a libertarian perspective, I think it's bullshit that we should have any laws against illegal substances. If you want, if you want to eat Tide Pods, you know, it get just just let the real world clean people out a little bit. Let's prune the world of the stupid people. Uh, Go! You have every right to do it, but if you show up at the uh, emergency room with a cardiac arrest at the age of 27 because you did too much meth and you don't have the money, I guess you die on the spot. That's how the old Capmeister would do it. It's called natural selection. Leftists are all for it until it starts costing them their voting base because their voting base is so fucking stupid. <clears throat> but on a more mature and serious level, yes, this is, this is a no-brainer if, uh, if you want to draft people for them to potentially get shot and defend the nation, then they should have the right to drink and smoke. Uh, you got to understand what's happening behind this, though, is the people, Mothers Against Drunk Drivers, uh, Truth.org, more recently Truth.org, I could see many years ago Mothers Against Drunk Drivers, but Truth.org, um, The look up my video on crusaderism. You could call it proto social justice warriors and this predates social justice warriors but you got a bunch of do nothings who want to go do good but they don't want to work hard at it <clears throat> so instead of going and becoming an engineer or a surgeon or maybe a real risky thing do doctors without borders okay <laughs> or join the military or whatever they're gonna go out and they're gonna crusade against things Imagine your prohibitionists, bunch of ugly old hags back in the 20s that no one no, you look up the picture, no lips shall touch ours that have touched booze. And you look at the women, it's like, no guy's lips are ever going to want to touch those. And so if you look, go to truth.org, you know, the anti-smoking thing, those guys have been on the internet forever. Go look up their, their workers and their profilers and their administrators. Not one of them have ever held a real job. Not one of them has real degrees. They're all lazy, no good fucks. Now it's good. Be a lazy, no good fuck. Collect a welfare check. Just get the fuck out of our face. Their egos will not allow it. They have to go do something heroic and save the world. And so they're going to do good. And they're going to prevent you from having a cigarette at the age of 20 or 19 because it causes cancer. And the point that you make and I make and everyone who's mature makes is, so fucking what? The individual's freedom of choice is much more important than whether it's a vice or whether it's, there's going to be negative consequences. <clears throat> and they should live with the full cost and consequences of it. It's not until the government comes in and says, well, you shouldn't do that and say, oh, by the way, we'll take care of all your health care and everything. We'll, we'll make sure to bail you out of your consequences. Same thing with women, infants, and children, and welfare. Nope, shouldn't get any money. Don't care how many kids you have. You, wow, imagine that. The woman we keep paying to have kids has more kids. Oh, I mean, they are that dumb. <laughs> that dumb, they don't get it. 
not talking to the moms that have more. I'm talking to people who are like, we can't get help my way. I was like, no, they should starve. They should starve and be cold. And that, that'll end poverty in a generation. Trust you, me. And, but yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. You're, you're thinking logically. You're thinking libertarian. You're thinking responsibly. You're thinking maturely. But the vast majority of people have feels. And, um... Yeah, it's if you think this is gonna piss you off, just don't even look at the federal or state budget. Don't don't look at the world of welfare, man. Just don't. <laughs> all right, that's it. You guys got questions? Cappy's got answers. Asshole Consulting.com. We'll see you all later. Tools.